Now, I'm not going to crap all over digital nomads. I happen to be one myself. I've been traveling the world for about, God, 12 years, something like that. And I've had a business for about 10 of them. I've been selling on Amazon and uh, up until this point, I've been doing quite well. And when I say up until this point, I, I kind of mean I, up until this point. As in now, I need to do something else to make money. I'm still making money, but I need to do something else. I, I, about what, what that is with digital nomading is, uh, is my warning to you guys. Again, I don't want to crap all over them. You can get work done. You can make money. You can become rich. You can do all those things. But there are some snags along the way that can happen. That has kind of put me in the position I'm in now. Uh, there's a bit of a, a mixture of, of belief and philosophy that runs into digital nomading that says that life is going to be different for you. Life is going to be something to where you're just going to kind of be automatically generating monies and you're automatically going to be finding resources uh, in, in, in a way in which you can not be grounded anywhere and have to stay somewhere forever to, to build up customer bases, to build up reputations, and to really sniff out the area and understand what's going on so that you can exploit it and make lots of profit. Everyone's idea of digital nomading even today is a little bad. It's got a bad reputation these days. It, it now associated with scamming and get-rich-quick schemes and things like this. And it's not necessarily true. There's a lot of that going on for sure. But I don't necessarily want to talk about that today. I want to talk about kind of the ideals people have in their minds and, and how I've kind of gotten in the situation I am now. You, let's look at digital nomad, like just people's idea of it. This is a fresh, by the way, this is a brand new fresh account. Fresh account, so there's no cookies and web history and whatnot. You're going to get fresh uh, stereotypes. Digital nomad. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Picture number one. Yeah, some responsible looking dude sitting, uh, that looks like some kind of Thailand island or Bali island, which is, which is where I live. I live in Bali, although I'm in Mexico right now, but I live in Bali. And yes, he's got his nice little coffee there. Obviously, it looks like it's probably not in the States because the cup is a little too small and it's got that little hoop there. And yeah, okay, that's basically what's happening. He's got his, his uh, up-to-date earbuds on. This is an up-to-date photo. Now, I mean, this isn't exactly the worst thing in the world. You can get a lot done. His, his laptop isn't even plugged in. That's ridiculous. His laptop isn't even plugged in. That's just, This is not a real photo. But yeah, look, there you go. Look at that. This is so absolutely realistic here look at that yeah you're gonna you know just sit on the sit in the sand hold up your laptop with your hand like that and and get a bunch of work done you know you're gonna optimize your website that way you're gonna you're gonna find your next product that way you're gonna make sure that you edit your video that way yeah that's how it is trust me and look at this this is mostly to be honest with you in my in my time as a digital nomad over the past couple of years and again I'll, I'll get into that in a second but this is this is mostly this is mostly what it is. This is mostly like what ends up happening as a digital nomad. You think that you're going to get all this work done and you're going to be streamlined and have all this stuff going on. But honestly, it's, it's more, well, I wouldn't even say it's like that. What would it, I don't know. Let's look at like laying in bed watching YouTube with candy. Your tube. Lazy. I guess just put it in there. There you go. I mean, you know, anyone who's actually doing this, wouldn't their hair wouldn't be that lovely. And I don't know if their legs would be up like that. I think they'd just be in the bed. Maybe the door would be closed. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there wouldn't be a bowl. There'd be actual, like a bag. Who puts chips in a bowl? I, I think me being this digital nomad character has, has skewed my perception of what work is in a way that I've gotten very lucky in my business selling what I sell. I'll, maybe I'll tell you someday what I sell, but I sell on Amazon and it's really been my bread and butter. I used to sell magnesium and then COVID hit and I seriously got porked in the keister uh, by the company that made the high quality magnesium. They changed the management and I didn't have the same salesperson and the, and the new guy or gal just absolutely was, didn't give a shit 
about my business or whatever it was. I had to beg them, say, I've been with you guys for five, six years, whatever it is. Can you please just send me, you know, 420 kilos of magnesium? And they, and they did it, but it was too late. And I, I lost my customer base. So I have this spray product. It's doing okay. But it, but, but it really has fallen. It has fallen in sales income. My sales have fallen quite a bit. And, and I took a bold decision, just decided to get rid of the magnesium company because it's, it's, it's expensive. And I decided to just go with this spray. Besides all these other things that are happening with, without much fruit, that's what I've got going that's actually making money. And that is what is sustaining me. And that is the income that I have kind of dropped. It's, it's getting lower and lower. And it's like, oh, God, I need to make money now. I'm 42 years old. Uh, I don't have a home, always renting. I believe in renting still, but always renting, kind of bouncing around the planet. Mostly been living in Bali. I was getting great deals during COVID. I was in Bali during COVID. There was nobody there. I got used to this prices during COVID. I completely missed out on everything happening in the United States in terms of inflation and just the insane rent costs that went up in the uh, in the just the insane inflation and I come in the insane people who are ready to go at it. I come back to America. People are, are on edge. They're tired of everyone's shit. They don't want to deal with any bullshit. And the uh, prices and food is almost twice as expensive as it was, you know, 10 years ago or something. And living in LA or Seattle, which is basically the time I spend where I spend. It's absolutely it's insane. So anyway, it's like, I, okay, I got to make more money. If any woman, I just broke up with my girlfriend, okay? Or it's, it's, it's that close. Like, it's that close. She's going, hey, what are you doing? And I'm going, hey, you know, I'm living my life. I'm just like coasting and, and I just see opportunities that come, you know? And she's going, fuck all that shit, okay? I, I, I get a house, you know? <laughs> I drive a 2003 Nissan Frontier that is absolutely trashed. I love the thing. I've got a giant solar panel on it. And I've got a bed in the back that's, I mean, it's pretty pathetic, but it's awesome if you're up on top, on top of a mountain in the middle of a desert, you know, middle of a salt flat, or in the middle of a jungle or something like this. And I've got a refrigerator in there, cold drinks, cold beef, you know, but it's a piece of shit. The car is falling apart. The engine's good, but it really is. It's just like, what do I do with this thing? Oh my God. I, my life is absolutely teetering right now. But the only thing I've done right, the only thing I've done right is that I'm realizing early that my income's going down. So it's time to make money. And I made concessions for this. And I'm not like broke. I'm not, I'm not about to lose my shirt. I, I'm in a comfortable space where I can make moves and I can take my time and I can see what's happening and get back into the game and kind of find a big yes opportunity, a big yes, something that is making me go, yes, I get it. Just like Amazon, when I started Amazon, it was a big yes. I understood what it was. I understood where the customers were coming from. I understood what was happening, how I would make money. I understood why my product would interrupt the customer and make them blah, blah, blah. I saw the whole thing happen. Like I, I just understood it. And it was unlike any other business I'd ever tried. And I saw it and it was a giant yes. Just looking for that yes again. With the success I had with Amazon about, uh, you know, nine years ago, eight years ago, whatever it is. I am gonna be honest, I, you know, I got lazy. I got lazy, I was traveling the world, I was making money. You know, I didn't go crazy and I didn't buy yachts and I didn't buy whores, you know, and I didn't do the, the champagne rooms and the bottle service. I wasn't uh, Geordie bottle service. I might surround myself with some good cheeses and chacoutre, you know, some uh, San Daniel prosciutto, some triple cream breeze and things like this. I'm more of a camembert guy, but I, I, I would pretty much live a pretty simple life. Go out for dinners. That was kind of my thing. You know? Throw some money into the stocks. Throw some... Okay. Anyway, I'm just going on and on here. I'm sorry. Okay. I was able to not blow everything. I'm, I'm in a decent shape. 
to, to really focus on what I want to do instead of like running to get some kind of tech job or, or get some kind of industry job. I used to work in, in, in Hollywood. I used to work at Sony Pictures. Image works. Yeah, I'm not freaking out, but it still feels like freaking out. And this is really because of, of this digital nomad kind of lifestyle dream. And I have to tell you, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one who's kind of waffling and screwing around, you know, until you get to be 40, 41, 42, 40, and you kind of, or you got two kids behind you, which I have no kids, and, and, you, and you go, oh my God, I've really got to start doing something. Like living in Bali, that's like the epicenter of digital nomad douchebags, you know, like guys who just talk and talk and talk all this business about what they're doing and all the moves they're making and how everything's outstanding and they're absolutely locking it in. And, you know, and they're really just, I mean, they're really just you know, doing a bit of this, you know, doing a bit of, do yeah, this is what everyone I think really is really about living this Bali life, living this beach life, right? And just hanging out in cold plunges all day and in the sauna. And that's, that's like crushing it. Or even getting a six pack or something like this. But I could see from so many people, so many people there, that there's this underlying crushed, like confusion of what to do. I think somehow, somewhere we get some kind of break and we get lucky. I mean, Amazon is very lucky. It's like picking gold up off the street. And I think somewhere we get this very lucky. I get very lucky and I just kind of, coasted on it and, and kind of said, I will always make money off this. Okay, I might have to revamp things. Okay, I might have to make the bottle better. I might have to make uh, ads. I might have to start marketing. I might have to do all these things to keep the business going. But I'll do that. I'll do that. But but I mean, honestly, it was making money. It was making money. It was good. Oh, man. And, and that's the thing. It's like, okay, now I can change the bottle. I can change the 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 marketing and things like this and i can improve it and but i'm i'm just so lazy or I, i'm just so used to coasting along you know again i'm glad i'm, I'm making a decision now that I, the income is lower not my money is almost zero right don't do that absolutely make sure you've got i would say two years worth of savings that you can live minimally and focus on what you need to do instead of rushing to a job. Instead of going down to zero, when the income goes down, that's when you got to go, oh, hey, okay, I got to wake up here a little bit and do something. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's where I am. So this digital nomad thing, what is the whole point here? What's, what's bringing it all together? At the end of the day, you got to work. You've got to keep growing and you've got to keep showing base yourself somewhere, get some roots in because you won't find opportunities anywhere. You know, it doesn't have to be in a location or something like this, but you really got to dive into what you're doing. For instance, right now I'm writing books. Okay. I'm writing books. I'll talk more about that, but I'm writing books now that AI is out. It's really helpful as, as a writer because I did all these channels and all this, all these channels and YouTube stuff as a writer. And it's just really helpful so that I can actually like get through an entire book, like writing an entire book, you know, using the ideas and concepts that I have. And even doing this and, and, and getting into this and thinking that I'm going to make a product and I'm going to make a web page for it and I just make some ads for it and then I'll put it up on, on the old uh, internets there and do some advertising. We think it's just going to sell. It's just going to magically sell you know, because we made it and we put a nice cover on it and we put a nice website, but it's not. And I literally just put the shit up and it's, and it's not selling. Okay. People are clicking on the ads. Well, out of the U S they're clicking on the ads in other English speaking countries, but it's, it's not, they're not going down the rest of the web page. So I got a lot of work to do, right? I got a lot of work to do in this new phase of my life, in this new time in my life. And, uh, a new phase of career, uh, uh, basically making the spray better. Um, I, I've given up on the on the magnesium. It's just too expensive, and I, I, I don't know. It's just such a pain to make for some reason. It always took forever. This book thing, and then also looking at investing and things like this. But I don't have a shit ton of money. I don't have a bunch of stuff. I don't have, like I said, I don't have a home. I have a shit car. Uh, my my relationship is on the fritz. We just, seriously, we just spent 11 hours on a phone call. Like, and, and like, I never called her a bitch or anything. Don't worry. But it was, it was just, wow, 11 hours. Some people's half work week. 
of the actual amount of time they put in in their remote jobs. It's a very interesting time. The digital nomad thing, who gives a shit? It would be so much easier to have a perma desk, a perma fucking chair. If we're really talking about making money, it would be much easier to have a stable solution situation. And my soon to be possibly ex-girlfriend definitely agrees with that. But forget all that, just from the standpoint of people making money in this crazy economy <laughs> in inflation, right? People making money, there's nothing quick. I could have easily done 50 more products on Amazon, but I, I, just, I just went, oh, I'm done. Wow, look at that, right? And slightly scared to, to keep going. You know, I could have easily bought a bunch of property in Bali during COVID, but you know, no. You gotta get into what you're doing and you gotta spend time. Being on the beach, being in the sand, being in the spa, being in a jacuzzi with your laptop, it's a pain in the ass. And you, when you've been to 50,000 beaches in 50,000 days, trust me, you get over it fast. The whole thing's just a pain in the ass. And you get all these people just, just pecking around the, the hot cafes and all the influencers and all the digital nomads. And they're all just sucking each other's blood. They're just sucking the blood out of each other. I mean, yeah, of course, a little bit of that is great. You know, you get, yeah, but everyone's looking for the opportunity. You know, if you're gonna do your own thing or you're gonna do remote work or you're gonna do your own job, you're gonna do whatever it is, you literally, you just gotta get in there and do it. Anyway, there it is. There I am here in my, you know, in my beautiful red Speedo shirt and uh, about to sweat my balls off in this place in, in Mexico. Now on this channel, I'm not going to be always talking about like business stuff. God damn, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting time of my life right now and it fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. It's kind of like, in a way, it's like party's over. But in another way, it's like, all right, party's over. Let's go. I've gone on adventures, like crazy weird adventures. I'll talk all about them. I I'm not going to stop going on adventures, but you know, now it's t I've been lived in all these different countries. I've uh, tried all these different foods. I've uh, tried to uh, get to know all these different women as human beings and uh, uh, creatures of philosophy and intelligence, wonderful experiences from this uh, menagerie of fauna, <laughs> times and the people and this and that. And and to be honest, I'm, I'm just a little, I'm a little bored of it. And I'm just ready to get back to work. I don't need to do these things anymore. I've kind of gotten it out of my system. Maybe I live that whole aspect of retiring young and then going back to work, I think that's what I've done. I think I had my retirement years, motorcycles and freezing mountains and ashrams, retreats. I've lived at the Zen temples for months, been in lots of danger. I've had to get people out of jail, 10,000 kilometers down Africa, 300 kilometers on a bicycle in India. It's like I've done it. And now the states are this massive, expensive, neurotic, I mean, I'm neurotic, we're all neurotic, but neurotic, heated battle zone, battleground. I, I, I've got a very interesting chessboard. I've got a very interesting, and I'm not really a chess guy. I'm more of a checkers guy, okay? So this is a major challenge for me. Emotionally, you know, the whole girlfriend thing. Mentally, I've got to figure all this stuff out, right? Physically, I mean, I mean, we, we're good there, right? <laughs> we check that box. And uh, now I got my kettlebells in the back. We got to get back to work. And, uh, and God, you know, I mean, it's true. 42 years old. And women, they get older and they're going, oh, wait, wait, wait. what's going on? When the hell are you going to, you know, nail your feet to the floor? And, uh, wow, well, I'll get into all that later. Oh, my God. I'll get into all that stuff later. My philosophies on relationships and living life, creativity and not forcing yourself to work and all these things. Everything's being challenged. So here I am. I am up for the challenge, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to bring you with me. Hmm. If there's any digital nomads out there that disagree with me, please let me know. Uh, I'm sure there's many who, who absolutely do live this lifestyle of, uh, you know, getting sand in their keyboard and, and you know, using the f***ing beach as a mouse pad, you know. I, I'm sure that's there, and there's been success in people who just enjoy that, but I, I just, I don't see it.
it's not really happening for me. So anyway, well, we'll move forward. We'll do some, we'll do some uh, hot events, current events coming up and, and things that happen in the world. And I'll also be posting those adventures. I'll be posting the things I've done on this channel. And I, I, I highly suggest everyone go out there and have adventures. I'm not saying stop and just button yourself to, no. But I think for me, I just, now it's time to peter it out. I, I've, karma's catching up as my, as my consigliere would tell me. Okay, it's fine. It's just the new mode. I've been there before with Amazon and I've been there before with uh, getting my act together and going through disappointments and things like that. It's the life of an entrepreneur. Now is not the time to kick up my feet, which maybe some people my age are kicking up their feet or, or people my age are like knee deep in a massive career. Maybe they're afraid of losing their jobs, all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, we'll move forward with that. I'll keep you abreast of everything that's going on there. And uh, yeah, welcome to the channel. Welcome to, the, to this mess right here. Welcome to the f***ing top knot or the ready for some changes. <laughs> Except this, this ain't going anywhere. I might, you know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it off a lot, but I think it looks great. Oh, God. Okay. Take care, guys. I like your moves. Shit!